Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing some of the Java questions which are asked in the CSD exam of Cognizant. So in previous days, many of you have requested me on Telegram as well as in the comment section that I should make more such videos because you have your exam coming. I think it is on 9th October and then it is in next month or on 30th October. So guys, here I am with some coding questions which can help you practice for the CSD exam and guys, make sure that you are subscribing this channel and liking the video because more such videos i will be posting tomorrow as well as day after tomorrow when the actual csd exam happens okay and guys if you want more such videos i have already made a playlist on my channel that is assimilation test cognitive coding question okay as well java as well as sql so here around three java questions and two coding co or two sql questions i have already discussed and this video will also be a part of this playlist only the links I will give in the description box as well as in the i button. So make sure that if you have your exam in coming days, you go through this playlist. And for more such videos on different different exams and different different uh, hiring opportunities, do hit that subscribe button and do share this video among your friends also so that they can also practice for the coming test. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button. Well, I will be discussing the question, then the approach of this question that how we will be doing it. And finally, I will be showing you the code of this particular question that how we can write the code in the exam. Okay, so let's start this video. So question here is given an array of n integers an integer and an integer k find the number of pairs of element in the array whose sum is equivalent to k. So let me explain you in quick uh, quickly. So we are given an array which contains n integers. And, in and there is also an integer k present that is separately. We have to find the number of pairs of elements in the array whose sum is equivalent to k. So we have to find the pairs, the number of pairs in the array. And if we add those pairs, their sum should be equivalent to k. Okay. So let's just see with the help of an example. So we are given n is equivalent to 4. That is there will be 4 elements in the array. k is equivalent to 6. That is we have to find the pairs in the array whose sum is equivalent to 6. Next is the values in the array that is given. So array is given 1, 5, 7, 1. Okay. And output, what will be the output? The number of pairs whose sum is equivalent to k. So here the output is 2. How the output is 2? So we have k is equivalent to 6. So we have to find the pairs in the array whose sum is equivalent to 6. So these are the pairs. So this 5 plus this one is equivalent to 6. So this is one pair. Okay. This 5 and this one is equivalent to 6. So this is one more pair. So therefore two pairs exist whose sum is equivalent to 6. Therefore the output is 2. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Now let's just move towards the approach of this question. And finally we will see that how to write the code for this particular question. And if you are finding this video useful then do hit that like button and subscribe button for this channel. Okay. So <coughs> sorry. So let's just start with the approach first. So approach will be we will be using an hash map approach. Okay. So while we are using hash map we will be using the hash map to store the frequency of each element and why we are doing it it will be more clear once i will do the dry run okay so we will be using hash map approach and we will be filling the in hash map we will be filling the frequency of each element that is how many time one is coming how many time five is coming how many time seven is coming so all this we will fill in this particular hash map okay i hope you got this okay now i have written the uh, step by step things that we have to do so first of all, we have n is equivalent to 4, that is 4 elements in the array. k is equivalent to 6, that is uh, the pair sum should be equivalent to 6. Next is count is equivalent to 0. This count variable will store the number of pairs satisfying this condition, that is the sum is equivalent to 6. Next is our array, 1, 5, 7, 1. Okay, so next I have written the step by <laughs> step guide that what we will be doing in this. Okay, so first of all, we will what we will do, we will iterate the array. Okay, we will be iterating this array 1571. This is our i pointer starting from 0 index, then 5, then 7, then 1. Okay, we will be iterating the array one, one element by one element. Okay. Next thing what we'll do, we will check. Check if check if k minus error of i, that is the current element, is present in the hash map or not. What we'll be doing? We will be simply checking if our k minus error of i is present in the hash map or not why we are doing it let's just first understand this particular thing okay so uh, let's just do here so what how we will find the pair what is a pair a good pair that will be a r of i sorry plus 
एयर ऑफ जे ओके इज इक्वल टू के ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन दैट वी हैव टू सेटिस्फाई द टू एलिमेंट शुड बी इक्वल टू के राइट सो वट इफ वी डू वट इफ वी डू एयर ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू के माइनस एयर ऑफ जे ओके सो इफ दिस कंडीशन इज वैलिड ओके इफ दिस कंडीशन इज वैलिड इट मीन्स दैट वंस वी सब्ट्रैक्ट द करंट एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द के then the resultant element is also present in the in the array then it means that we have one pair okay that it means that we have one pair for example k is 6 okay k is 6 6 minus let just say our first element that is error of j here is 1 so 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so is 5 present so yes 5 is present in the array so it means that we have found one pair so instead of satisfying this condition directly what we are doing we are satis satisfying this condition that is if k minus our current element is present in the array then there exists a pair okay now iterate the array check if k minus ari is <coughs> present <coughs> in the hash map or not okay if <coughs> if present add the frequency of that in the count variable this point i will make you understand little bit later okay if they are present <coughs> then we will add the frequency of that a uh, variable in the count variable okay now keep next point is keep on incrementing the frequency of the current element in the hash map so let's just now understand this 3 and 4 point by doing it by run okay so i hope this thing you have understood let me just delete it okay now what we have done we have made the hash map okay initially it is empty we have a key and value pair in the hash map and initially it is empty now we are iterating this array okay now we are iterating this array so first of all our current element is i so we will first check what we will check we will check if k minus error of i is present in the hash map or not we will check if k minus error of i is present in the hash map or not so what is the value of k sorry this is key Let, let's not just confuse it so k is 6 and current element is 6 minus 1 okay current element is 1 so 6 minus 1 that is 5 so is 5 present in the hash map currently no 5 is not present in the hash map currently okay because we are checking in hash map not the array we are checking the hash map so is k minus i is present in the hash map so 6 minus 1 is not present in the hash map so if it is not present this third point is scraped and simply we fourth point will run that is keep on incrementing the frequency of current element in the hash map so 6 minus 1 that is 5 is not present in the hash map so what we'll do we'll simply increment the count of the current uh, current way uh, current number so one one is key and now we will update the frequency of this one in the hash map that is one because it is the first time occurrence okay now what we'll do we will move this i towards the next step that is next iteration will start okay so now we are on 5 so we will again check the same thing if our k minus i that is 6 minus 5 present in the hash map or not so yes 6 minus 5 that is one is now already present in the hash map now again this third point will be valid okay so if present add the frequency of that in the count variable so add the frequency of which element 6 minus 5 that is 1 1 is present in the hash map so what which frequency will add it in the uh, count variable that will be frequency of 1 till now so count variable will be added with the frequency of 1 so now count has been becoming 1 okay and now fourth point will always run whether third point is valid or not so keep on incrementing the frequency of the current element that is now we will add the 5 and our frequency will now become 1 here okay now iteration here is done now we'll go towards the next element that is 7 so now again we will check if our k minus i that is 6 minus 7 is present in the hash map or not so 6 minus 7 that is minus 1 so minus 1 is not present in the hash map so what we'll do our third point will not be valid and we will straight away move towards the fourth point that is add the frequency of current element in the hash map that is 7 will become 1 now so roll of 7 is also done now we'll go towards the 1 that is last element now again we will check if our k minus current element 6 minus 1 is present in the hash map or not so 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so 5 is already present in the hash map now what we'll do our third point is valid so if present add the frequency of that in the count variable so what we'll do we will add the frequency of this 5 in the count variable so frequency of 5 is 1 so we will add it into the count variable that is 1 plus 1 2 it will become 
okay and fourth point will always run that is keep on incrementing the frequency of the current element so one was already present and now one more one has come so we will increment it with two okay so our iteration is over so once our iteration is over you can see that our count will variable now contains the number of pairs that have satisfied this condition that is the sum of those pairs should be equivalent to six so now once iteration is over this value will simply return and it will be our answer so this is the entire approach of this question i hope you have understood it so if you have still any doubts you can always write in the comment section and now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question and guys do hit that subscribe button if you have if uh, this video is helping you okay so now let's just move towards the coding part okay so guys i have i have already written the code for saving the time and i have only written the function that you have to implement in exam it is possible that input also you have to take your on your own and it is possible that only the function you have to implement so in this video i have only implemented the function so what i have done we have written three inputs in this function that is the array n number of elements in the array k the uh, sum that is equivalent to k that is also given so as i have told you we will be taking hash map okay hash map based approach and we are taking a variable that is known as count okay so now what we are doing we are iterating over our array so again the same things we are following that i have told you in the approach so first of all when we are on the current element we will be checking whether k minus ar of i whether k minus current element is present in the hash map or not if it is present in the hash map what we are doing we are incrementing the count by the frequency of that element that is already present in the hash map as i have told you in detail in the approach okay next thing now once this thing is over that is k minus current element is present in the hash map then this third point is valid and we are adding the frequency of that in the count variable and next thing is fourth point that means that will always run that is keep on incrementing the frequency of the current element okay sorry <coughs> okay that is the fourth point this is the fourth point that is keep on incrementing the value of the current element if the current element is already present in the hash map then what we'll do we will increment that frequency by one that is if that frequency was one now we are incrementing it by one so it will become two now and if that element was not present in the hash map then also we will have to increment the uh, current value that is m dot put and we will give the frequency as one because it was not present earlier it has come just now so therefore the frequency of that element is one but if it was already present in the hash map earlier then we are incrementing it by 1 that is earlier it was if 2 now it have become 3 so this was the entire question to do so i hope entire question approach is clear to you now let's just run some sample test cases uh, what was the answer it was 6 uh, 1 5 7 1 so answer should be 2 so it will give the 2 as an answer uh, and this particular code will fulfill all the test cases that will be given to you so i hope the entire video is clear to you and do hit that subscribe and like button for this channel and thank you for watching this video